We were really keen to see Norway. We'd fancied that for a while, just see a real range of places. It's an absolutely amazing way of seeing the most beautiful scenery. We wouldn't have been able to do that any other way, really. For its proximity to the United Kingdom, it's probably the most magnificent scenery that you can get within easy reach of the UK. Certainly one of my favourite places we always visit is Garanga. You're sailing in and it's through sheer cliffs with all the waterfalls. This ship is big, but you feel tiny. You can't describe it, it's just... Words fail, actually, to describe the beauty of the mountains and the water. It's just breathtaking. 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 We always try and do excursions to suit all abilities. It's fantastic in the kayak. You fantastic. Get some kind of perspective, don't you, from sea level looking up. We also have Mount Dyson. You do have to be all right, of course, with steep driving and hairpin roads, but you cannot possibly better the views that you will see. Absolutely breathtaking. We've got the King Crab Safari. You go on a rib boat, the exhilarating adrenaline ride out to see the King Crabs. They can't believe the size of the King Crab. It can be very big, up to two metres. And we've got to hold them by their legs, otherwise they catch on to you. It was absolutely fantastic. We also have the Huskies excursion, where they breed and train sled dogs. We have a granddaughter who loves dogs, so she will be thrilled to see us with Huskies, you know, in our arms. The Flomsbana Railway. The reason everybody goes to Little Flom. Very picturesque stunning waterfalls. And the little villages that we've seen, which we wouldn't have seen if we'd just booked a normal holiday. It's getting into the heart of the country, seeing really how people good. live here. And then you come back on the ship and you've got all the luxury on the ship. It's lovely, it really is. As we get further north, the length of the days get longer until eventually the sun stops setting entirely and everybody comes up to watch the sail pass in the North Cape. Well, we're on deck now, it's coming up to almost 12 o'clock. It's actually midnight here and we're in the northernmost element of Europe. It is one of the things that made me want to come though, yeah. to come where it doesn't get dark. Because yeah. that means I don't have to go to bed for very long. <laughs> and you sail under what is effectively the end of the known world, if you like. And years ago, they wouldn't have known that there was anything beyond it and the attractions to actually go ashore and visit the actual North Cape. You stop at a Sami village, you get to meet one of the Sami people with their reindeers. Reindeers. <laughs> <laughs> simple things, you yeah, say. Simple, simple things. things. <laughs> you could go to all of these places over land, but you wouldn't see the same things that we see. The only way you can actually do that is on a ship. You can't imagine how beautiful no, no. and spectacular it is yeah. until you're actually here and seeing it by ship's yeah. got to be the best yeah. way. You wouldn't have seen this much in Norway. I want to go back and do it again. Yeah. <laughs>